is uh, one part of Sri Lanka that has cool weather in the night. And certainly the covers on, some sweating took place overnight and the cracks did disappear when the covers were taken out this morning. But still looks a perfect batting track and a lot of runs to be scored on this wicket. So that's the uh, synopsis from uh, Bandulavanpura in the middle. And he also goes on to say that the ball would tend to keep low in the second session of play. That has been one of the features of the Askiria wicket. And a large crowd coming to watch this will the World Cup game between Sri Lanka and Kenya. Sri Lanka already through to the quarterfinals in this tournament, but Kenya looking to beat Sri Lanka today. And there's the toss. And Morris Odumbe has won the toss and put Sri Lanka in the bat. We'll join Haritha Perra for an interview with the Kenyan skipper. Candy, I'm sure whatever the result, you're going to enjoy this game. Absolutely. We came here to enjoy ourselves and to play good cricket. Yeah. What do you think about the lineup of your team? Uh, our 17-year-old is not playing today. He's got an uh, injured finger. He fell in the bathroom. So we've replaced him with another medium pacer. And Tariq Iqbal, the wicket keeper, is also not playing. So only two changes we've made. So what have you decided? Bat or field? Oh, we're going to field first. Okay, good luck. Thank you very much. So Kenya are making two changes to the side. And uh, Sri Lanka making the one change, bringing in Upul Chandana, who did not play against India last week. So can I ask the crowd at the Askiri Stadium? And the Sri Lankans opening with Samad Jaya Surya and Ramesh Kalavitana, who been extremely successful in the middle of the And Jaya Surya hits us over the top. And that's a big hit. That clears the boundary. That's six runs to Samad Jayasuriya. Jayasuriya loves to play that stroke. No, made no mistake about that. Ali to Kalavitana. And it's away towards the mid-picket. That's racing out of the mid-picket boundary. That's four runs to Kalavitana. So Kalavitana straight away into the act. Loves to play shots and Sri Lanka 12th and no wicket in the second over. He picked it up so well. Short delivery and Kalbidana pulls this from outside the off stump to the mid-picket boundary. Four more. So the crowd's absolutely elated. Short delivery from Ali and Kalitana dispatching that to the boundary. And this one is pulled away, a backward off square. And that's a big hit from uh, Ramesh Kalitana. That's six. Here's a featureless view of the Askiri Stadium. And the short delivery is pulled by Kalitana. That's the replay. Timing absolutely exquisite. And Jayasu drives out towards point, racing to the boundary, four runs. Umpire Steve Dunn signaling the four, and uh, certainly Sri Lanka's opening pair, Jayasu and Kalvitana, setting this ground alight.
outside the off stump again. Kalu Garsuria on the back foot, forcing that towards the point boundary. That's six. So, for the looks of things, another blazing opening partnership from uh, Garsuria and Kalwitana. They defeated the Indian bowlers with no respect last week. And the Kenyans too finding them a very difficult proposition to contain. Smack off the middle of the bat. Cleared the fence by a couple of meters. So Jaya Surya in full flight at the moment. Another big hit from Jaya Surya. Racing out towards the uh, mid-picket boundary. And that's four more. Should be like a 36 for no wicket in the third over. And Jaisley again on the onside towards the long on. Good bit of fielding on the boundary. Jaisley gets a couple for that. Good luck with 38 for no wicket. Brass sounds also evident on the grounds. Taken on the full by Jaya Surya. Out to extra cover. Four more. So three overs completed. Sri Lanka 42 for no wicket. Shot outside the off stump and Kalibitan on the back foot. Back arch down to third man. Gets four for that. And the Sri Lankan scorecard is certainly accelerating. And Kalutana going over the top towards uh, Long On, racing out to the boundary. Four more to Ramesh Kalutana. So that brings up the uh, Sri Lankan 50. Jaisuri this time angling his bat, pushing out on the onside towards Kaleg. The batsman come back for two. So that's good running into the wickets. Jaisuri and Kalutana having a very good understanding. Short and Kalutana pulls this one over mid wicket. That's six. Great stroke from Ramesh Kalutana. And the Sri Lankan total advancing to 70 for Novigat. And this time Jai Surya plays that over point. That's six. Timing absolutely perfect. And Jai Surya this time keeps this one. To extra cover, and that's four. Sri Lankan total up to 82 for no wicket. And pulled by Jai Surya out towards mid wicket, and he's out caught. A good catch. And Jai Surya departs. Sri Lanka 83 for one. Here's the replay. Guys, we are pulling that one. Not quite getting hold of it. Good catch taken at the big ticket. Guys, we departs for 44. So, Guru Singh, the new batsman in. We're in the seventh over. And there's Guru Singh's. World Cup career records. And this one is picked away, back with a square by Guru Singh, four to him.
88 for one. The match went out to Giant Studio for 44. And he's going. Kalimkan is gone. Bold. And uh, Sri Lanka lose their second wicket. And that's the wicket that the Kenyans wanted. The danger man, Romesh Kalabitana, playing right across the line of that, angry with himself, out for 33. Arvind De Silva, the new batsman in. And his World Cup career record played 16 matches, average of 28. That's when going through for a pick single. Good singer responding well. It's a good calling by Arvind De Silva. He left 89 for two in the ninth over. Gurusinga drives, full face to the back, and that's running out to a long off boundary. Four runs to Gurusinga. Both up to 93 for two. A lot of colorful banners at us here today. That's Gurusinga on the pads. What a shout! Too high hitting him over the roll. There's the replay. Edge dropped by the keeper. Ball running down the boundary for four. So a life for Arvind De Silva. Certainly catchable. And Sri Lanka total 120 for two. There's the replay. Thick edge. Beats the diving bigger keeper. And what is it up for Kenya? There's the Sri Lanka scorecard, the Jasuri and the Kalutana batsman in the pavilion. There's a big appeal down the leg side. Umpire Dan says no. Would be disappointed. He didn't have a good singer. Acrobatic attempt by the wicket keeper to take that. Certainly clipped a good singer's pad. And that's pulled by Arvind Bissula. Back with a square. Fine delivery. That beat Gurusinga all ends up. And Suji can't believe it. Gurusinga down the track. Hit over the top. That's a big hit from uh, Guru Singha. From Paidan. In action. 119 for 2 in the 15th over. Driven past the bowler. Out towards uh, long off. That's four runs to Arvind Silva. The Kenyan bowlers unable to contain the Sri Lankan batsman. If you watch the replay, you couldn't hit it straighter than that. Out to meet Bikut. The ball. One 
what to do, what to. Down the leg side, and that's uh, picked away by Arvind Rishi. Down the fine leg. Pushed away on the onside, and there's the uh, Sri Lankan 150 in the 32nd over. <laughs> this time, Madisila making room for himself. In that towards point, gets four. Disilla sweeps and sweeps well. Down to fine leg, that's four more. Again, Disilla sweeping. Find the fielder down at fine leg. That brings up Arvind de Silva's 50. Coming off 48 balls. And Gurusinga hitting over the top this time. That's a big hit. And that's it. The umpires kept very busy today. Signaling the sixers and fours. Play. Is one step down the track. And this is pulls this one back with a spare. That goes into the boundary. Four more brings up the Sri Lankan 200 in the 29th over. Gurusinga pushes out in the onside, picks up one, and that's Gurusinga's 50. Acknowledging the applause from the 15,000 spectators present at Askiri to watch this game. Goes to the top again. That's a big hit. And the 33 was completed now. Sri Lanka 235 to 2. There's the replay. Goes to make use of the long reach. Arvind Dilsilva works his way towards mid wicket. That's racing out of the mid wicket boundary, and that's four more to Arvind Silva. Pick the gap between uh, mid wicket and uh, mid on, and this one is pulled by Dilsilva towards the mid wicket boundary, and that's uh, four more. The Kenyan bowlers dropping a bit short, and Arvind de Silva absolutely strong in that area. He loves that stroke. And they're taking a full opportunity of some poor Kenyan bowling. Full toss. Pull towards a long on, and that's four more. So the Sri Lankan total up to 240 for two at the end of the 35th over. And this time Gurusinga back cuts down towards the third man. And all the Kenyan bowlers could do is watch in dismay at this superb batting performance between Gurusinga and De Silva.
247 for two. The partnership now 161. And this is a back cut down towards the third man, but it's well stopped. Hit it hard into the ground. Super bit of fielding at backward point. And Guru Singha this time launches this towards long off. And that's another big hit from Guru Singha. One bounce to the boundary. It's in the air. And he's dropped. So Guru Singha gets alive. The rare opportunity, the Kenyan fielders do get a chance and they have spilled it. Here's the replay. Guru Singha going for the big hit. The fielder taking his eyes off the ball, paying the penalty for that. Slash this time down towards that backward point. That's four more. Sri Lanka total 264 for two. And this is a back cuts and back cuts well down towards the third man. Gets four for that. Total up to 271 for two in the 39th over. And Guru Singh lost this one. And he's out caught. That's a good catch by Ticolo at long off. Guru Singh using his feet down the track. Didn't quite get hold of it. Look to clear the line. Ticolo takes a very good catch at long off. And the Guru Singha departs for a well compiled 84. And the Sri Lankan skipper Arjun Rantunga in the middle. Fading 21 no World Cup matches. That cuts down towards the backward point. The races to the boundary. So Ranzunga, very strong off his wrist. The silver on 97. Looking for that elusive century in the World Cup cricket. And this one is clipped away towards Blackwood Square. Gets one. And Ranzunga back cuts down towards the backward point. And the fielder does well to get a foot to that. And he gets a couple. 292 for three. Pushed out towards uh, mid on. And Narabindu Silla completes 100. And he's the first Sri Lankan to score a century in World Cup cricket. Coming off 92 balls with 12 boundaries. On the track and looking for the stumping that's wide called by umpire Ramasamy. So close call for Arminda de Silva. Down the track and hits this down towards uh, mid wicket, and that's a big hit from Arminda de Silva. He's the danger man when he gets going. And that cleared the boundary. That's the replay. How was and runners of the time trying to back cut. The question being asked. Runners of the sweeps and sweeps well. Down to backward square leg boundary. Four more. The Sri Lankan total racing up to 308 for three in the 45th dollar. Okay. 
This time, uh, kick outside edge, down the third man, and that's four to Ramazunda. So all the Kenyan bowlers could do is watch in amazement. And Aravind is down the track. And that's a big hit. It cleared the boundary at least by four or five meters. Sri Lanka 322 for three. There's Arvind de Silva launching to that. And Branathunga pulls this one back with a spare. Four more. Three thirty-one to three at the end of the 46th over. So that's the run rate, 7.2 per over. And this is what pulls this over the top. That's racing out to the uh, long on boundary, four runs. So Suji coming for some stick. And Aramindu de Silva in uh, full flight. Jubilant crowds watching their local heroes in action. And this pulls this up towards uh, mid picket. And that's another big hit from Arvind Silva. And that clears the boundary as well. Three forty six for three. This is down the track. This that to uh, long off. And that's six more to Arvind de Silva. In the air. Field again on it. And he's dropped. So a straightforward chance going up begging. Piccolo dropping Arvind de Silva. And this could prove costly. Overthrows. So here's the replay. De Silva two steps down the track. Hitting towards uh, long on. Tikolo getting under that. Perhaps losing his concentration uh, for a moment. And drops a vital catch. So Ranadunga sweeping this time. Down to fine leg. And that brings up Ranadunga's 50. Of 29 balls with nine fours. Tripped away by Ranatunga. Back with a spare. The fielder doesn't bother to move. And it's four to Ranatunga. So the Kenyan bowlers having no answer to this powerful Sri Lankan uh, batting side. And De Silva again going for the big hit. In the air. And that's six more. So Arvind De Silva enjoying himself. And what innings this has been from De Silva. Pulls out on the offside, and this time is out caught. No mistake about that. Modi taking a good catch at long off, and Arvind De Silva departs in the 49th over. Modi keeping his eyes on the ball, and a standing ovation from this crowd. As Arvind De Silva departs for 145. Hashan Tilakarat, the new batsman. Comes in with just under two overs in this innings. 
And this time, uh, Ranatunga gets a thick outside edge. Ball down to third man. That's four. So the Sri Lankans are piling on the runs. 382 for four. And there's Tilakaratna settling in. And this could be the highest in one day cricket. Possibility of run out. And he strikes the wickets. And Tilakaratna is running back to the pavilion. He knows he's gone. Ali with some fine work. There's the delivery and Tilakaratna just pushing in front. Trying to rotate the strike and let his captain have the strike in these last nine balls. Had no chance. And Mahanama coming out for the first time for Sri Lanka in this sixth Wills World Cup. And Ranadunga rolling his wrist that time, running down to back middle spare and that's four runs. And Ranadunga hiking this one over extra cover. That's six, a big hit from Ranadunga. And certainly Ranadunga enjoying himself here. What innings has been from him. 387 for five. So the last delivery of the Sri Lanka inning. And that's hit away on the onside. And that's four more. So Sri Lanka ended at 397 for five in 50 overs. And this is the highest made by any team in a one-day international. Beating the highest made earlier by the West Indies against Sri Lanka. They made a 372. And now Sri Lanka taking the honor of making 397 for five. So the Kenyans needing 398 to win. Certainly a very tough task. Bola Pushkumar. This is back cut down towards the third man. That's four runs. So Chudasama straight away off the mark of the first delivery. Very wide indeed. So that beat the batsman, beat the wicket keeper, and that's four wides. Edge and uh, is dropped. The Chutasama has a life. Kalibitana going for the catch. Here's the replay. The thick edge. Kalibitana getting his gloves to it. And the Mahanama trying to take it on the rebound, but doesn't hold on to that. This one is back cut down towards the backward point, and that will be four. Well played indeed. That's racing out to the extra cover boundary. Four more. Kenya 26 for no wicket. And this one is clipped through extra cover. Well played. Timing absolutely exquisite, and the was coming for some stick. Down the track, and that's hit over the top. And that cleared the boundary, no doubt about that. A big hit from Chudasama. And this time, a was unable to hold on to it. The ball bouncing off his hand onto the stump, but the non striker was in. Here's the replay. Hit firmly, was getting a hand to that. And the ball now falling on the, the bail. This 
dislodged one bale, but no damage done. Big question asked, but certainly down the leg side. And Otiani is gone. Goal by Waz. And uh, Sri Lanka take the first Kenyan wicket for 47 in the eighth over. Here's the replay. A fine delivery from uh, Waz. Yorking Otiano. He departs for 14. Steve Ticolo, the new batsman. Certainly one of the frontline batsmen in the Kenyan side. And here's an aerial view of Askiria. And the Chutis are padding up there. Good delivery from uh, Mutai Murlidharan. And that's a late cut played by uh, Chudasama. Very seldom it's seen uh, these days on the cricket circuit. He gets two for that. And he's chopped down onto his leg. Ch Chudasama departs. So Murugan strikes and the Kenya are now 51 for two. Pitch outside the off stump and uh, Chudasama going for the late cut again. Thick edge onto the stumps. So there's the replay of that dismissal of Chudasama. Maurice Sudumbe, the uh, Kenyan captain. And he was out without scoring. So Tikolo this time uh, playing a crisp stroke down towards the mid wicket. Up about a meter or so inside, and the batsman gets three. And uh, this time, uh, Modi driving well on the offside. So, Guru Singer down to the boundary. We'll take a look at that, and there's Guru Singer. Getting a hand to it. Modi coming forward. Full face to the bat. In the bars. Flat return to the wicket keeper. Pulled by Ticolo towards mid wicket. Donald Senna pitching outside the off stump. And uh, Tikolo picking up the gun very well. And this one is clipped away towards mid because That's four. Tikolo didn't bother to move. Oh, that's six. Umpire Steve Dunn calling that a six. So good stroke from uh, Tikolo. Partnership now 55. And Tikolo tries to sweep and uh, Half out of the peel, the ball running down towards the uh, fine leg boundary. Cut off by Sanat Jaya Surya. And that's pulled by Tikolo. Through mid wicket. And uh, Pushkumara dropping that shot. Tikolo rocking back on that. And pulls it over mid wicket. Another view of the Askiria Stadium. And Jai Surya bowling a full toss to Modi. Dispatches that down. Back with a point. Pushing out to the covers, quick single, and there's overthrows. Jaya Surya's throw, not hitting the stumps, and uh, Pushpumara not really looking to get behind the stumps. There's Jaya Surya.
Ryan Bodhi working it back for the spare. Now to save the fielder. So the partnership now 100 between uh, Ticolo and Modi. And Ticolo back cuts and back cuts well down to third man. What a fine player Steve Ticolo is. He's proved it in this Sixth of Wills World Cup. Just to drop in that shot and uh, Ticolo on the back foot. That wraps Modi on the pad. Question asked from uh, wicket keeper and the bowler. But Modi well stretched forward. And Ticolo down the track. Lost this one. Uh, over long off, that's a big hit from uh, Ticolo, that's six. So the Kenyans sticking to their task, trying to chase this massive target of 398, reach 160, 170 for three now. And Ticolo again, clipping this one uh, towards mid wicket, and that's four runs. So Kumar Darpasena making a hash of things down there. Should have cut that off. Take a look on the 80. That's nicely worked away off his pads. Steve Ticolo picking up two for that. That should be close. The bail's off in a flash. Here's the replay. Nice flat return to Kalvitana, but Ticolo was home. And Ticolo pulling that over long on. In fact, it was Mahama Nasapattu substituting for Arvind the Dissel on the field. He took the catch, but he was over the boundary at that stage. So it's six more to uh, Steven Ticolo. So Modi threw for a quick single. And the throw from Mutta Muruldaran, a good one, strikes the uh, wickets. And here's the replay. Muruldaran in very quickly. And uh, throws the uh, wicket down. And uh, Modi looked out. And there's the third umpire's decision. So Modi run out. Good throw from uh, Mutta Muruldaran. And a good partnership coming to an end between uh, Steve Ticolo and Modi. Disappointed Modi walking back out for 41. And the Kenya lose their fourth wicket. So Ticolo brothers now in the middle. And that's pulled away down towards a backward square leg. And that's four runs. 192 for four in the 38th over. So that's Steve Ticolo working that away down the back for the spare. So Ticolo drives out towards uh, long on. That's four runs. That's well struck indeed. It had a lot of timing. The power is there. The fielder had no chance in cutting that off. So Ranatunga and uh, Kumar Dharmasena. And that's a good delivery. And that beats Ticolo. He's out clean bowled. Yoked himself. And uh, Steve Ticolo out. A super delivery from uh, Kumar Dharmasena. Kenya 196 for 5. Ticolo out for 96. Certainly deserved to get a 100. Angry with himself. But what a fine innings from uh, Steve Ticolo. Held the Kenyan batting together. Got a good delivery from uh, Darmasena.
So the second of the Odumbe brothers, that's Edward Odumbe in the middle. Brother of the captain, Maurice Cook, the bars. Catch. 199 for five. In they are. And that's down to the boundary. So Ticolo making use of a very loose delivery from uh, Dharmasena. 210 for 5 in the 43rd over. Ranatunga the bowler. And that's smashed away on the offside. Racing out to the long off boundary. Four runs. And Ticolo drives again out of the offside. Good bit of fielding from uh, Sanat Jayasurya. There's Jasuya picking up cleanly at the flat return. And that's a big hit by Odumbe. And he's out caught. So Mutta Mulzaran taking a good catch at long off. Edward Odumbe departs and Kenya 215 for six. He went a long way up, but Mulzaran kept his eyes on the ball, took a good catch. Certainly, the Kenyan innings now falling apart. Edward Odumbe out for four. Onyango, the new batsman, playing his first World Cup game. Hit out to a long on, and that's four runs. Given out, could be close. The return uh, struck the stumps. Let's take a look at that. Nice flat return. And Onyango was home, no doubt about that. And that's hit over the top. And that's a big hit. Clears the boundary by several meters. Onyango using the uh, long handle. So the highest aggregate of runs scored in the World Cup. Look at that again. Short delivery and Onyango turning his head to that. So he didn't keep his eyes on the ball and didn't duck out his way. Well taken by Mavanath Pato, feeling at the mid-wicket boundary. Substituting for Arvind de Silva, who's not on the field. Onyango goes. And Kenya lose their stone picket with the total at 246. So it's all over by the shouting now at the Askiria Stadium. Sri Lanka looking to take this game very comfortably, making 397 for 5 in 50 overs. Onyango departs for 23. It's going the 50th over. And here's Hashan Telekarakta bowling left arm. This is a fun over for the Sri Lankans. Sri Lanka winning by 143 runs. So tremendous comradeship between the two teams. And Kenya will remember.